the Buddha says that when you begin to meditate, think in ways that give rise to joy in the mind. You could think of your generosity. You could think of your virtue. The times you gave when you didn't have to give, but you just wanted to give. The times when you could have broken the precepts, but you didn't. Out of a sense of honor. Those thoughts give energy to the mind. And then based on those thoughts, when you have that sense of energy, that sense of joy, then it's a lot easier for the mind to settle down right here in the present moment. We think of concentration giving rise to well-being, but well-being has to be there to begin with, to at least some extent, for the concentration to get started. So think in ways that give you a sense of confidence that, yes, you can do this, you're happy to do this. You're fortunate that you have this opportunity. There's so many people in the world who don't have the time to meditate, or don't have the opportunity. Here you've got the time, you've got the opportunity, make the most of it. This is a good work to be doing. Some people say that when you sit here with your eyes closed, you're running away from the world. But you're actually training the mind so to be a, a good citizen, a good member of the world. You try to curb your greed, you curb your anger, you curb your delusion. That way they don't go around biting other people. So how do you curb these things? Well, first you get the mind quiet. You gain a sense of well-being inside. And then when thoughts of good rise to anger come up, or thoughts that would give rise to greed come up, you ask yourself, what do I gain out of these things? What's the allure? And what are the drawbacks? And because you're coming from a sense of well-being, it's a lot easier to see the drawbacks and to admit them to yourself. Easier to see that the greed and the, and the anger are not a good thing, because there is a part of the mind that says, you know, without greed, where would we be? Without anger, where would we be? We feel that we need these things. But you can still live in the world and have a comfortable life, and you can still live in the world and work against injustice without having to be greedy, without having to be angry. In fact, the greed and the anger make those efforts unskillful, because they blind you to what you're doing, blind you to the results of what you're doing. Whereas the meditation allows you to see clearly and to weigh things in a fair and honest way. So get the mind to settle down. Have it be smooth here in the present moment. Breath coming in smoothly, going out smoothly, and the mind staying smoothly with the breath. That puts you in a position where you can look at the world outside, look at the world inside, and see more clearly what needs to be done, and see that you do have the strength to do the right thing. So this is how meditation makes you a good citizen a good member of any social group, because it's through our examples in our thoughts and our words and our deeds, that's how we have an impact in the world, and particularly in what we actually do. We can talk about good things, but you want to actually live good things that has more of an, of an influence, and a good influence all around.